Welcome to a thrilling exploration of nature's slippery surprises. Dive into the wild world of mud baths, where safari animals like elephants, rhinos, and buffaloes find relief and sometimes unexpected trouble. Discover why these majestic creatures get stuck, how rescuers step in, and the fascinating science behind their muddy misadventures. Ever wondered why animals love rolling in mud and how it can turn into a sticky trap? Sheep have an excellent sense of direction and can find their way home over long distances. This homing ability helps them navigate rugged terrain while grazing. Today, there are about 1.2 billion sheep worldwide. Goats were one of the first animals domesticated by humans, originally in the Middle East. Goats can climb steep rocks and trees. Mountain goats live in extreme alpine environments. Goats eat grass, hay, shrubs, leaves, and weeds. Farmers often use goats to clear land of unwanted vegetation. Wolves are the ancestors of domestic dogs, Canis lupus familiaris, diverging around 15,000 to 40,000 years ago. Wolves form lifelong family bonds and care deeply for each other, sharing food and caring for the young and sick. Cats were domesticated around 9,000 years ago, likely in the Middle East. Cats are known for being independent, but can form strong bonds with humans. Cats purr when they're happy, but also when they're scared or in pain, it may help with healing. Reindeer can change eye color from gold in summer to blue in winter to adapt to changing light levels. Reindeer are the only deer species in which both sexes grow antlers, though females are smaller. Reindeer make one of the longest land migrations of any mammal, up to 3,000 miles 4, kilometers, annually. Hamsters have expandable cheek pouches that extend all the way to their shoulders, used to store and transport food. Hamsters are the smallest, about 2 inches long, while Syrian hamsters are the largest, up to 7 inches. Hamsters can reproduce very quickly. Anteaters can eat up to 30,000 insects a day. They love ants and termites, but never destroy a whole colony. Anteaters have a lower body temperature, around 91 degrees Fahrenheit, 33 degrees Celsius, than most mammals, which helps them conserve energy. Alligators are cold-blooded reptiles and belong to the same order as crocodiles, but they are different animals. Alligators eat fish, birds, turtles, mammals, and even carrion, dead animals. Alligators can stick just their eyes and nostrils above water to stay hidden while watching prey.
Lions primarily live in savannas, grasslands, and open woodlands in Africa. A small population also exists in the Gir Forest of India. Lions weigh around 150-250 kilograms, 330 to 550 pounds. Females are smaller, around 100 to 180 kilograms, 220 to 400 pounds. Dogs were domesticated from wolves over 15,000 years ago and have been humans' companions ever since. Dogs have up to 300 million smell receptors, compared to about 6 million in humans. Dogs communicate through barking, growling, whining, body language, and facial expressions. Pandas have a special pseudo-thumb, an enlarged wrist bone, to help them hold bamboo. Pandas are excellent climbers and can even swim. They communicate using scent marks, vocalizations, and body language. White tigers are not a different species. They are a genetic variant of the Bengal tiger, Panthera tigris tigris. White tigers are often bred through inbreeding, which can cause health problems like crossed eyes, cleft palates, and scoliosis. White tigers are not albinos. They still have pigmentation in their stripes and eyes. Ducks belong to the family Anatidae, which also includes swans and geese. There are over 120 species of ducks. Ducks have webbed feet that make them excellent swimmers, colorful feathers, while females are usually brown for camouflage. Chickens were domesticated around 8,000 years ago, originally from wild jungle fowl in Southeast Asia. Chickens can recognize over 100 faces, solve problems, and learn through observation. Chicken eggs take about 21 days to hatch. Elephants eat grasses, leaves, bark, fruit, and roots. Up to 300 pounds, 136 kilograms of food daily. Elephants have excellent memories and can remember water sources, friends, and dangers for years. Elephants live around 60 to 70 years in the wild. Usually, one calf is born, which can stand and walk shortly after birth. Elephants spray mud on themselves to protect their skin from sun and bugs. Giraffes are the tallest land animals, with adult males reaching up to 18 feet, 5.5 meters tall. Giraffes fight by swinging their necks and heads to show dominance, a behavior called necking. Giraffe has a unique pattern of spots, which helps with camouflage and identification. Rhinos mark their territory with dung and urine, often piling up dung in the same spot form dung middens. Rhinos have excellent hearing and sense of smell, but poor eyesight. They often rely on scent and sound more than sight. Rhinos are heavily poached for their horns, driven by illegal trade, especially for use in traditional medicine, despite no proven benefits.
Zebras are about 4 to 5 feet tall at the shoulder and can weigh between 400 to 850 pounds, 180 to 385 kilograms. Zebras live in groups called herds or harems, often led by a dominant male stallion. Zebras need to drink water daily and often migrate to find water sources during dry seasons. Bulls are mainly used for breeding, and in some cultures, for work or sport, like bullfighting. Bulls can be territorial and aggressive, especially around other males or during breeding season. Bulls eat grass, hay, grains, and silage, just like cows. They have a four-chambered stomach to help digest tough plant matter. Tigers mostly live and hunt alone, marking large territories to keep others away. Unlike most cats, tigers love water and are strong swimmers. A tiger's roar can be heard up to two miles, three kilometers away. Their stripes help them blend into the forest shadows. Tigers are endangered due to habitat loss and poaching with fewer than 4,000 left in the wild. Ever wondered why animals love rolling in mud and how it can turn into a sticky trap? Learn the surprising reasons behind mud wallowing and the dangers that lurk beneath the surface. Step into the boots of a wildlife rescuer. Participate in a hands-on challenge where teamwork and quick thinking are key to freeing trapped animals from thick, gooey mud.